Lucy has followed the Creekers into the Wallop on a mission to help get back her mother. Chapter 16 The Marshmallow of Your Dreams The campfire was warm and cosy and the smell of toasting marshmallows made Norman's tummy rumble with excitement. He twisted his marshmallows round in the flickering orange flames, getting the most perfectly even toast you could possibly imagine. This one didn't look black and charred like I usually did, and it didn't go all sloppy and fall off his stick. It was golden and crisp. It was warm and bubbling. It was quite simply the sort of toasted marshmallow you could only see in your dreams. Which is exactly where it was, in Norman's dreams. Suddenly, his cosy little campfire was interrupted by the most irritating sound Norman had ever heard. It was like a siren wailing through the sky, filling the air with annoyance. <coughs> what on earth is that sound? Norman cried, dropping his marshmallow into the flames to cover his ears as the sound got louder. <coughs> Norman sat upright in Lucy's bed. Norman, it's Ella, Ella. Ella cried, looking all scruffy and tired. I fell asleep, Norman croaked. Guess so, we both did. You fell asleep too. Uh-huh, Ella yawned, popping in her, popping on her pink heart-shaped shade to hide her tired eyes from the crack of sunlight coming in through the curtains, making Lucy's bedroom glow. Where's the jacket? Norman asked, noticing that Ella no longer was wearing Lucy's dad's ja jacket. Don't know, Ella said with a shriek. Woke up and it was gone. There's Norman and Ella. Norman's brain was only just warming up. He couldn't work out anything yet. He caught Ella's yawn and rubbed his eyes. <sighs> That's when he noticed the little golden crumb balls asleep fall onto the bed sheets. The little speckles that had been in the corner of his eyes. His heart leapt. Lucy! he gasped. She's not in here. And she's not in there, Ella said, as Norman scrambled out of bed and stumbled across to the wardrobe. She's gone, Ella interrupted. Norman nodded. She's probably just downstairs making breakfast. No, Ella, you, you don't understand. They've snatched her. Ella dipped her head and peered over the top of her sunglasses with a raised eyebrow. Who? The Creakers. They must have snatched her in the, mu in the night once we fell asleep, Norman whispered, flattening down his sticky up morning hair. Snatched? Really? Ella questioned, seeming rather unconvinced. Really? I guess the first part of the plan must have worked. Plan? What plan? Ella asked. Norman suddenly realised he'd better not tell Ella that they had only invited her round in order to use her as bait to lure a couple of bunch of creepy monsters out in the hope of catching them. 
Well, Ella said, tapping her foot impatiently. Ella, those dreams you had. The ones about the monsters under my bed. Exactly. Those weren't dreams, Ella. They were real. They are real. Who? Ella said. Norman raised a shaky finger pointing at the shadow under Lucy's bed. The Creakers! Jumped. Ella jumped in again as she started to realise what was going on and just how serious the situation had become. We need the grown-ups, she said. We need Lucy, said Norman. And we'll find out what happens next time.